Is Geno Salim Saleh dead or alive? That's the biggest question, still making rounds on different social media platforms. And I'm coming to tell you the truth of the matter. You know me right here on the Buzz UG, I don't lie. I tell the information as it is, so stand by for the details. For the meantime, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melad Milo, aka Fula. Now, before we go to that story of Geno Salim Saleh, the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Among, has told Ugandans who are lately protesting on the streets of Kampala over different issues in the country that even if you protest how many times, there is nothing that's gonna change, she said during plenary on Tuesday. Horrible Anita Monk had no kind words for Ugandans who have made it a habit to take to the streets whenever there is an issue they want government to work upon. Now, in her own words, she said, Even if you protest, nothing will change. You can protest as many times as you want, but nothing will change. Instead of writing petitions and bring them to parliament to be discussed, you choose the streets. There is nothing. Your protests will change. Well, there you go. That's a statement directed to Ugandans who are lately protesting over different issues in the country. Now, the speaker's anger came after activists under their umbrella dubbed Torture Survivors Movement stormed the precincts of parliament to decry the plight of Ugandans being brutalized and murdered in the Middle East countries, especially Saudi Arabia. It is said that Ugandans and other Africans in the Middle East are deliberately murdered for their internal organs. Well, meanwhile, the Nyegenyege festival is still hanging in ballast. It has not yet fully been given a green light to go ahead. The Prime Minister yesterday okayed the festival, but later in the evening, the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Monk, reiterated to the members of Parliament that the event is not going to happen. So the battle right here is between the Prime Minister, Rubin Anabanja, and the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Monk. And some Ugandans have been heard questioning that, Nae Anita Monk, Mazima Dala, Weyitachi Mukazi Gwe. <laughs> Now, going to the main story right now, uh, social media has been awash with allegations of the death of Geno Salim Saleh, the senior presidential advisor on military matters, who also doubles as President Museveni's brother. Reports on social media claims that Geno Salim Saleh died some days back and uh, his dead body is being hidden by the state in order to delay the announcement of his death. However, Slivia Owori, the director of operations at Operation Wealth Creation, where Geno Saleh is the chief coordinator, has dismissed the death rumors making rounds on social media. Now, Slivia Owori says Geno Salim Saleh is a public figure and for someone of his stature, news about his death would have been widely published and uh, a statement from the office of the president would be out already, which has not been the case. Slivia Awori also revealed that Geno Salim Saleh is alive and very well. Now, in her own words, she said, It is unfortunate that people would go around spreading such allegations. I would love to state that Geno Salim Saleh is in good health and uh, is doing his work in Kapeka where he's best. The claims of his death are false. Well, there you go. That is a statement coming in from uh, Slivia Awori. But personally, I think Ugandans who are demanding to have a look at Geno Salim Saleh are not going to believe mere words. I think Geno Salim Saleh, if he's really okay, he should come out and let the public have a look at him. I think that will be the end of the death rumors making grounds on social media. Anyway, that's the latest update I got for you this morning. Kindly subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melad Milo, aka Fuller, your number one in this game. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.